Hey guys, it's Tim and this is Wrestling Unlimited. This past weekend, the Jacksonville Jaguars hosted the Tennessee Titans in a 37-19 loss. Now with that, AEW President and Jaguars Chief Football Strategy Officer Tony Khan was photographed on the sideline during Sunday's game holding a very interesting piece of paper in his hand pertaining to the card for AEW Full Gear. Now as you see on your screen in this photo in question, Khan is holding a number of papers, a few actually pertaining to the Jaguars, but the one facing the camera in clear view almost has an 11 match card on it for the upcoming AEW Full Gear pay-per-view on November 13th. Now at this time, it is not known if this photo getting out and being taken like this was done by accident or done purposely by Khan. As far as those 11 matches in question, let's run them all down right now. First off, it says Luchas versus FTR. One would assume that this would be for the AEW World Tag Team Championship since the Lucha Bros are the World Tag Team Champions. The next one's an interesting one. It says Cody versus Malachi or Andrade or Miro. He's leaving the options open. Cody Rhodes. Next up, we got a tag team match. It says Young Bucks versus Jurassic, which would be Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus. We also have Christian versus Cole. Christian Cage versus Adam Cole. The next match states Jade Cargill versus Thunder Rosa. But what is interesting is next to that, in all caps, he wrote the word short. So we're going to get Jade Cargill versus Thunder Rosa, but he wants to keep the match short. I think that may be actually, if he's doing this on purpose, a shot at WWE because a lot of their women's matches recently have been short. Like sub two and a half minutes. Then in an interesting one, it just says Brit with no opponent listed for the current AEW Women's World Champion. Going forward, we got a match for Punk versus Wardlow. As everyone would expect, MJF versus Darby. An interesting move since we're technically seeing the match this week on Rampage. It says Inner Circle versus ATT, which is American Top Team. We're kind of seeing that match this week on Rampage, but maybe this is Inner Circle versus American Top Team without the Men of the Year. The next match states Brian versus Mox. Now, if I'm spitballing an idea here, Brian Danielson versus John Moxley, this could be the finals of the AEW World Title Eliminator Tournament where the winner gets themselves a world title shot. And finally, he's got Kenny vs. Hangman. Tony Khan did reveal in an interview this week that Kenny vs. Hangman will be taking place on the show and will be for the world title. So with that, there's a lot to look at here with this 11-match card possibly for the AEW Full Gear pay-per-view. Also, another thing to note, the names Hangman, Moxley, American Top Team, and Darby Allin were all circled on this piece of paper. Now again, we do not know if this was done by accident or intentionally by Tony Khan. Yet, if it was done by accident, why would he have this piece of paper at a Jaguars game? One excuse he could say is, well, it was just in my random notebook that I've been using. I've got a notebook. I keep all my notes in it for both the Jaguars and AEW and didn't realize that that page was shown to a camera. But with that, this is, again, a very interesting thing that I think, I think Tony Khan may have done on purpose. I mean, Tony Khan has done some very unconventional things when it comes to advertising, promotion, and getting stuff out there. And this could just be one of Tony Khan's many unconventional tactics. So with that, if we do hear anything else on the card for Full Gear, whether this 11-match card is it or not, we'll have it for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.